The South Carolina Department of Disabilities and Special Needs works very closely to support individuals with intellectual disability uh, or related disability, a, um, autism, and head and spinal cord injury. So for those folks um, in the state, we have approximately 38,000 people who are eligible to receive services. And we have another, we would say about, of those 20,000 are on uh, receiving supports directly through our Medicaid waivers. One of the reasons that we really want to get information out about Palmetto ABLE, it, ABLE counts is because most of our people, if not all of them, would qualify to be able to open up an ABLE account. Thereby, they'd be able to secure the benefits by which we pay those services and supports, which are our Medicaid waivers. They would be able to maintain their eligibility for those services. They wouldn't lose their benefits, but still be able to work, save money, um, and put a little savings aside for, for a rainy day. This account is easy to open, easy to maintain, and will keep benefits for the individuals, um, even as their assets change over the course of a lifetime. So I think that it would be very beneficial if anyone supporting a person with a disability gets that information out to families and the individuals themselves. You know, having additional funds in the bank might be able to pay for a vacation, um, do something a little different, uh, go out to dinner. Uh, in the past, when we tried to spend down assets to maintain eligibility, you're not thinking of future needs. You know, you're spending now because you have to meet eligibility requirements and to maintain your benefits. But if you were able to save, just like everybody saves, everybody in the world will everybody should be saving for those rainy day expenses or maybe some of those pleasurable things like like I said going on vacation but it could be a treatment for something that Medicaid doesn't cover but if you had additional funds in your account you could choose that it would open up a world of choice for the individuals as a family I have personally opened an account for my my daughter an ABLE account. So when we're no longer here, there is money that her sisters and brothers can take her on vacation with them, that she can get any kind of support that she might need, and yet she maintains her benefit so that her overall service array that we would never be able to save enough money for for her um, will still be there for her, and yet she can enjoy additional aspects that add to her quality of life.